number two on the way. And I'm Kate, pregnant with my first. Today we're gonna talk about morning sickness. Dun, dun, dun. Morning sickness is definitely one of the first clear signs that you're pregnant. And it's like a hangover without the fun night before. Or like a churning seasickness that can happen when you're in the car or lying in bed at night. So what even is morning sickness? That phrase simply describes the vomiting and nausea that happens during pregnancy. And morning can be a little misleading because it can happen any time, day, or night. For most women, these symptoms start around the fifth or sixth week of pregnancy, reaching a peak around week nine. There's typically a slow, sometimes excruciatingly slow, decline until you should be feeling more like yourself around week 15. I'm about 17 weeks pregnant right now with baby number two, and I feel like I've gotten through the worst of it, but one in five women experience symptoms into their second and third trimester, and 5% even experience it all the way through until delivery, and that unfortunately is normal. Yikes, I'm at week eight right now and super not into this new symptom. I've heard though that there are definitely women that don't get sick at all. Yeah, that can happen. Remember though, if you've been feeling pretty fine and then around your second or third trimester you have sudden flu-like symptoms, see your doctor because it could be related to illness or food poisoning. Got it, now let's talk about what causes morning sickness. There are a few things. First, and probably the most obvious, are food and odors. Certain scents or tastes can trigger nausea. Perfumes or the smell of food cooking, for example, can totally flip your stomach, as can spicy or really fatty foods. For me, bad smells like trash and public transportation are super over the top terrible. Tasty. For me, fish has sort of been off limits and people who've had one drink like hours ago, I can still smell it on their breath and it really bothers me. There are other physiological triggers like stress. And if you were more likely to get things like seasickness before, that could trigger morning sickness once you're pregnant. Yeah, the same is true for folks with higher thyroid levels. And if your mother or sister experience symptoms, you probably will too. Research has also shown that changes in your hormones are a big reason for morning sickness. Oh, hormones. One of the first ones is human chorionic gonadotropin. This is actually the hormone that makes your pee stick turn positive when you first get pregnant. And then there's also progesterone. This is a hormone that dramatically increases while you're pregnant and totally slows down your digestive system. And estrogen, everyone's favorite. If you had a sensitivity to birth control or estrogen before you got pregnant, you might experience even more intense morning sickness symptoms. So let's talk about getting some relief. It's pretty straightforward. But easier said than done. Sleep, eat, move. move. Getting sleep as much as you can and good sleep is an awesome place to start. Exactly, and if you can, eat smaller meals and snacks throughout the day as opposed to three larger meals. That can totally help your digestive system because it's a little bit out of whack while you're pregnant. Yeah, I found that if I kept crackers next to my bed and ate a couple before I even got up in the morning, it was super helpful at calming the morning sickness. Switching your prenatal vitamin can also help with nausea and eating super plain foods and foods packed with protein and healthy fats. So crackers, trail mix, cheese, and surprisingly for me, peppermint heart candies. Delicious. Sips of water can also help, as does a little carbonation if you have some LaCroix, 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 La LaCroix? Yeah. some LaCroix at hand, and certain foods and scents like citrus or ginger can be calming. And even though lying down is probably all you want to do after having a meal, avoid it. Keep moving. Both keeping up your regular workouts or even trying a walk after a meal can really help. Yoga, meditation, acupuncture, and acupressure have also been found to help. So this just seems like a list of home remedies to try, but if you're still feeling a lot of morning sickness, talk to your doctor about it. They can be able to prescribe a vitamin or a vitamin and a pill medication that can really help calm your symptoms and make it easier to get through your first trimester. But just don't go into a drugstore and grab something random off the shelf. On the bright side, morning sickness ends and time will heal. By the time your baby's here, it'll feel like eons ago. Thanks so much for tuning in. At Babyless, we're all about making parenthood more fun and easier. And we're thrilled that millions of families have allowed us to join them on this journey. Leave questions in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Bye! Bye.